Hi, my name is John Greenville. It's uh, July 25th, 2012. I'm uh, 35 years old. I was diagnosed at 17 uh, with limb girdle 2A. So this is uh, 18th year of living with the disorder. And so what I want to do is uh, just walk back and forth a few times like I do every year, just to kind of show you uh, my walking style. And so uh, what I've noticed from uh, this year, uh, I have noticed some weakness from last year to this year. Uh, and mainly if you see, um, I'm landing more on the outsides of my feet. So the ankle strength is not as strong to keep uh, my feet in. So I'll, I'll explain that when I, when I turn back around and then you can kind of see what it is that I'm talking about. So if you look it down, if you focus down on my feet, um, basically I'm walking more like this. I'm exaggerating this right leg a little bit more. And I'm pushing off and landing like that where I should be landing obviously more like most people, you know, flat on the foot and pushing off the toes. So now if you zoom back out and you can watch the walking, just pay attention to the feet. Um, you'll see that there's, I'm landing on the outsides of my feet. Not only am I landing on the outsides of my feet, but uh, I'm landing almost flat footed. Um, is, is that due to the Achilles tendon being tight? I, I doubt it. Um, it's, I think it's more of a security thing for me. Uh, I feel comfortable. Um, uh, basically for this reason, when I, uh, when I land heel ball toe, which most people do, I'm kind of committed to taking that step. So um, when I land flat footed, it's almost like, am I sure that the leg is going to hold the body? Now I haven't had any falls, um, but the falls that I have had over years, it was mainly because the knee kind of gave out. So I would take the step and I would commit to it and then the leg, the knee would give out and I'd fall to the ground. So now what I've done is I've shortened up my steps um, uh, going forward, and I've also land, landed flat on the ground with my foot. Um, it's almost similar to if you're walking on ice. You want to take baby steps, short steps, so that you don't uh, fall. Uh, but I'm basically doing it on dry land. Also, if you notice, the, uh, the legs, they're pretty far apart um, when I'm coming forward. So that tells me that the hip flexors are weakening uh, to the point where I can't really bring the leg completely forward where it's more of a swaying to the outside. Um, and that's just the product of you know, the disease uh, weakening the, the hip flexor. Um, yeah, and if you just focus on the foot, I'll do one more, I'll walk up one more time and come back. Uh, if you focus on the feet, you can really see that I'm really landing on the outsides of my foot and I'm really pushing off. And that's causing my balance to kind of be in question. And so that's why I have slowed my pace down, walking slower, so that I can kind of limit um, any falls, which so far has been, uh, I've been able to do that, but the problem is it's taking me longer to do things. So, um, you know, it's kind of a, you know, uh, it's kind of a difficult situation where, you know, you don't want to fall, so you kind of take your time with things and stuff. So, um, let me just go up one more time. Um, yeah, I mean, the upper body is still moving around a lot. Um, as far as, you know, when I'm walking, the shoulder shrugging, it's, I mean, walking all in general has been a little bit more difficult, but the interesting thing is that, you know, my confidence and just, uh, and just in myself, I feel, I feel strong. I feel stronger than I've ever felt before. And so uh, I feel pretty happy about that, despite my physical abilities being a little bit weaker from, from last year. So uh, that's basically it for this walking video, and, and I'll have a few more videos to follow this one. So thank you.